Hello and thank you for joining us on Airy TV for English News Broadcast live from Asmara. Today is Thursday, 25th of July 2024. Here are stories making headlines. Inception Workshop on Improving Nutrition and Food System. Meeting of National Union of Eritrean Women Executive Board. Chinese Foreign Minister calls for political settlement of Ukraine crisis. Nigeria finds Meta $220 million for violating data protection and consumer rights law. The Ministry of Agriculture, in collaboration with the Food and Agriculture Organization and Eritrea, organized an inception workshop on improving nutrition and food system today at Asmara Palace Hotel. The workshop was attended by representatives of ministries, national associations, advisors from inside the country and abroad, as well as representatives of UN agencies in Eritrea. The workshop aimed to strengthen the beekeeping project and promote nutrition-sensitive agriculture in the country. Discussions focused on climate smart beekeeping, the honey value chain, and improving nutrition and food system in Eritrea through nutrition-sensitive agricultural best practices. The objective of the inception workshop was to bring together key stakeholders to establish a common understanding of the project objectives, identify potential areas of collaboration and integration between the beekeeping and nutrition-sensitive agricultural competence components, discuss and agree on the project implementation arrangements, develop a comprehensive nutrition monitoring and evaluation framework to track the progress and impact of the integrated interventions and agree on a joint communication and knowledge management strategy to facilitate learning and sharing of best practices. Speaking at the occasion, Mr. Samara Amlesom, Director General of the Agricultural Extension at the Ministry of Agriculture, called for strengthening the role of stakeholders in addressing the challenge to improving the food system taking initiative for streamlining resources for higher outcomes and reviewing and practically applying recommendations forwarded by the participants of the workshop. The Executive Board of the National Union of Eritrean Women conducted a meeting on 24th and 25th of July to review the implementation of programs in the first half of this year and discuss the new strategy plan. The meeting took place at the central office of the union. During the meeting, a report was presented on effort to enhance the awareness and capacity of women, increase their participation in education and development programs, strengthen their economic capacity, and strengthening organization of young women. The report highlighted both strengths, strengths and challenges encountered. The board noted that it has been working to realize its vision and objectives by designing a strategic plan with encouraging outcomes being registered considering existing challenges, opportunities and demands. The board also emphasized the importance of strengthening ongoing activities, including the organizational capacity of women and the development of overall awareness and participation as part of their focus for the second half of this year. Commendable activities are being conducted in the student summer work program that commenced on 8th of July in the Adlai Hsab zone. According to reports, the student members of the program are making strong efforts to conduct 26,390 meters of terraces and he calls for planting over 5,000 tree seed links. The participating students have indicated that they fully understand the objective of the program and have expressed their commitment to strengthen their participation to realize these objectives. Eritrean professional cyclists Merhau Kudus and Metzkel Eyob clinched first and second place at stage 9 of the Tour de Banyuwangi Gen Men Elite Race. The race, held on 22nd of July in Indonesia, covered 607.8 kilometers over four states. 
مرحو قدوسين متكل ايو both members of the Terangianu cycling team made history by finishing first and second at the fourth stage which covered 162.8 kilometers. The two Eritrean cyclists also dominated the race by winning the yellow jersey and Those were local news updates. Stay tuned for international ones. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi held talks with Ukrainian Foreign Ministry Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba in Guangzhou on Wednesday, calling for a political settlement of the Ukraine crisis. Wang, also a member of the Political Bureau of the Communist Party of China Central Committee, said that the Ukraine crisis has entered its third year and the conflict is still ongoing with risks of escalation and spillover. Noting that China remains firmly committed to the political settlement of the Ukraine crisis, Wang said the four principles laid out by President Xi Jinping form China's fundamental approach to finding a solution to the crisis. On this basis, Wang said that China and Brazil have jointly outlined six common understandings for the political resolution of the Ukraine crisis, including three principles for managing the conflict, three elements for a peace plan, three humanitarian concerns, as well as important measures to prevent nuclear risks and ensure the stability of industrial and supply chains. This consensus has garnered widespread support and responses from the international community, Wang added. Nigeria's government on Friday announced a fine of $220 million on Meta, saying its investigation found multiple and repeated violations of the country's data production and consumer rights law on Facebook and WhatsApp. A statement from Nigeria's Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Com Commission, FCCPC, listed five ways that Meta violated data laws in West Africa country, including by sharing the data of Nigerians without authorization, denying consumers the right to self-determine the use of their data, discriminatory practices, as well as abuse of market dominance. Being satisfied with the significant evidence on the record and that meta parties have been provided have been provided every opportunity to particulate any position, the Commission has now entered a final order and issued a, a penalty against Meta parties, FCCP Chief Executive Adamu Abdullahi said in a statement. Spokesperson for Meta didn't immediately respond to a risk for a re request for a commitment. Nigeria, which is Africa's most pop populous country, also has one of the world's highest number of internet users, with 154 million active subscribers in 2022, according to the country's statistics agency. Before we go, we have a quick recap of the top stars. Inception workshop conducted on improving nutrition and food system. Meeting of National Union of Eritrean Women Executive Board. Chinese Foreign Minister calls for political settlement in Ukraine crisis. Nigeria finds Meta $220 million for violating data protection and consumer rights laws. That's all for tonight. Thank you for watching.